Hi, in this video, I'll give you a quick, fast-paced demo of the Caspio platform. The demo will consist of three different phases. In phase one, I'll give you a quick overview of the Caspio platform. In phase two, I'll show you a few examples of Caspio applications that were created inside the platform. And in phase three, we'll go back to Caspio again, and I'll show you how our customers go about building applications. So let me go ahead and log inside my account. And what you'll notice is as soon as I log in, we give our customers the ability to log into more than one account. What's nice about Caspio is we use a single sign-on to log in across multiple services and products, all under one umbrella using a federated ID. The nice thing about having multiple accounts is that you can have one account for prototyping and building proof of concepts, and your other account can be used for your applications that are in production or live. Let's go ahead and log into one of my accounts. And as soon as you log in, you'll be taken into your console. This is where you manage and build new applications. Behind the scenes, Caspio is an online database built on a Microsoft SQL technology. And in the time that I have in this video, I'm not going to be able to show you all of the Caspio features, but I will point out some of the more frequently used ones and ones that are relevant for today's demo. Up here is your main navigation menu. Under account, you have access permissions. This is a very popular feature in Caspio. It allows our users to have multiple employees logged in simultaneously inside Caspio to help build applications and also manage applications. Under tools, you can import and export data. Along with that, you can also import and export applications. So if you export an application, you can ship that off to your development team. They can troubleshoot the application email it back to you, and then you can re-import the application into your account. User logs allows you to manage application users. So you have a full 360 view of who's logging into the applications, who's not logging in, what browser, etc. Under scheduled tasks, you can connect to an online repository such as FTP or Dropbox, and you can send your files to those repositories, and then you can tell Caspio to go there securely at a specified frequency, for example, on demand, daily, weekly, monthly, and then Caspio will fetch that data for you and append or replace that data inside your Caspio tables. Under payment processors, we allow our customers to monetize using Caspio applications. So for example, if you're building an e-commerce website or have an order form, you can collect payment via the applications. To build an app in Caspio, it's very easy to begin. You can click on this link here at the top, and then you have two options on how you can begin. You can start by importing data from an external source. So if you have data in Access Database or Excel, some kind of comma delimited file, you can import that data into your account and then you can build all the application interfaces on top of your data. If you're not importing data, you can build your application using a blank template. We'll come back to this screen in a few minutes and we're going to explore one of these applications so that you can see all the objects in phase three. But for now, let's move on to phase two. I'd like to show you some examples of applications that were built on the platform. And even if you go to our website, if you go to product and app templates, you're gonna see a library of applications. And these applications are really meant to invoke ideas and inspire users to what they can build using the Caspio platform. If you happen to like one of these applications, you can request it and our team will import the application into your account so that you can reverse engineer it or build on top of it until it's more unique to your own business. The two applications that I've chosen for this video, one of them is the training management application. The whole premise of this application is for the customers to be able to log in and sign up for classes. We have instructors who can manage classes along with customers. And then we have the admin level user who can log in and gain access to a dashboard where we track revenue, manage customers, manage instructors, and see a whole 360 view of all of the workflows and functionality. So let me go ahead and log in as a customer. A customer will have the ability to self-register by inputting some basic information along with some account info. They can go back to the login screen. And I'm gonna go ahead and log in as a sample user who happens to be Mary. This is fictitious data. And as soon as I log in as Mary, I'll have the ability to look at classes. And if I happen to like a particular class, I can register for it. This will bring up a Caspio form where we can select some options using dropdowns. So if you want breakfast, maybe a beverage option, and you'll see how Caspio is doing calculations in real time. Now this is a very simple addition. Caspio gives you 
many more complex functions that you can integrate inside your application and much more complex algorithms that you can have to perform much more sophisticated calculations. Down below, as I mentioned before, we do allow for payment processing. So you can enable PayPal or Stripe to be able to collect payment via the application. As a customer, I also have the ability to manage all the prior classes that I've signed up for. But what I'd like to do next is log out and log in as the admin level user so that you can see a dashboard interface. I'm going to go ahead and log in as John here. Again, this happens to be just fictitious data. And as soon as I log in, we get to see this immersive dashboard where we can track total revenue across all the classes. We have all of the classes that are pending review, how many customers have signed up, and how many total instructors we're currently managing. We also give you the ability to build charts. Charts are a great way for visualizing data, looking at KPIs, and also analytics. And this particular chart shows us revenue by month. We also have a pie chart. What's nice about the pie charts is that you can click inside the legend to show and hide elements and just hone in on the data that's most important to you. As an admin level user, I can manage classes, instructors, customers, see additional reports. So again, an admin level user is the highest level user and they should be able to see all the functionality within the application and be able to manage all the instances of every single application that you create. For my second example, I wanted to show you a healthcare application. This is a patient portal. Because Caspio has a lot of companies in the healthcare sector for regulatory compliance and also HIPAA, I wanted to give you one example of a healthcare application just to invoke some ideas and inspire you to maybe build your own applications if you work in that industry. So let me go ahead and log in as a doctor. And let's go to manage patients. Here's a very nice search interface that we can filter data on. If I click search, we get to see the list of patients. Again, I just want to stress the fact that this is fictitious data. This is not actual patient data that you're looking at. This is all made up information. And if you wanted to take a look at a specific patient, you can click on details. And this is going to open up the patient details. We have a nice report that's tracking all the patient visits where we track all the vital signs. I also have a chart created that shows blood pressure readings over time, and we can also send a message to the patient portal. This message can be an appointment, it can be lab work, maybe an x-ray image that the patient can be notified in real time, and once the patient is notified, they can log into their portal and be able to retrieve that message. So these are two examples of applications that you can build in Caspio, but Caspio is a full online database platform, which you'll see in just a minute. And really the number of types of applications that you can build is truly infinite because of how scalable the database is and also the power of the application interfaces that you can build. So let's go back to Caspio and let's go ahead and explore one of these applications. I'm gonna open up this custom CRM app. And as soon as you open up an application, you're gonna be able to see this panel on the left-hand side. These are the objects that our customers use to build applications. The very first object is the overview screen. On this screen, this is mostly informational for you to keep track of notes and also see some metrics that pertain to your applications. Underneath overview, we have data pages. Data pages are application interfaces that embed into your website. This is what the end user is going to see. So if you recall from a minute ago, when we looked at all those charts, reports, submission forms, those are all considered data pages. And a single application can be comprised of one data page or multiple data pages. And when you build multiple data pages and you combine all of these components together onto a web page, this is how you can accomplish that immersive look and feel dashboards that we looked at it just a few minutes ago. We'll come back to data pages in a few minutes, but underneath data pages, we have tables. Tables are the foundation of any app that you develop inside Caspio. And much like data pages, a single application can be comprised of one table or multiple tables. In an example of this application, we have 11 tables. I'm gonna open up one of these tables just to show you. So if you open up the table, just like in Excel, you can click on each one of these cells to make modifications. If you want to modify your field names, you can click on table design. And here you can rename a field, you can delete a field, or you can introduce a new field to your table if you wish to collect more information inside the database. For each one of the fields that you create, you can change the data type, and Caspio gives you a lot of options on how you can collect the data. 
if you choose text 255, that means you're going to be collecting up to 255 characters. But if you're building, let's say, a description field or comments field or message, you may want to opt out for text 64,000 so that you can collect more data. Next to table design, we have triggered actions. Triggered actions are a very powerful feature in Caspio. They allow you to automate many of the business workflows. This also allows you to reduce a lot of the human intervention and automate many of the business procedures. I'm going to click on edit to show you. Caspio uses a Blockly framework to accomplish this. And by simply clicking on the left panel and dragging and dropping these elements inside the screen, you can create many complex triggers to automate your application workflows. If you want to remove an element, just click on it, hover over the trash can, and let go. The last thing that I want to show you on the table side, if we go back out to the table menu, are table relationships. This screen helps you understand your schema and how all of your tables are connected using primary and foreign keys. Much like a traditional database environment, if you have an access background, you're going to feel right at home using Caspio because you move these tables around just like in Access and then you connect your tables using primary and foreign keys. And in Caspio, you can have one-to-one -one relationships, you can have one-to-many and also many-to-many -many joined via a third table. Underneath tables, we have views. Views allow you to merge or join tables together using primary and foreign keys. They also allow you to filter data from tables so that you can quickly see the data that's more important to you. And as I mentioned before, Caspio does allow you to have one-to-one -one relationships, one-to-many, and also many-to-many. -many. Authentications and connections allow your application users to log in either using social media, for example, Twitter or a Gmail account. They can log in using the Caspio credentials inside the table, or they can log in using SAML. If you have your network credentials that you log in, you can use those network credentials to simultaneously log in into Caspio applications as well. Styles and localizations deal with aesthetics. Under styles, you can change the color of the labels. You can change the color of the fields. You have full access to change any of the aesthetics to match the look and feel of your corporate identity or your brand. Under localizations, you can change regional settings. You can change the date format, because we have customers in over 160 countries, this is a very powerful feature because with just a click of a button, they can change the language to be more localized to their specific region. And then we have tasks. Much like triggered actions, tasks allow us to automate many of the workflows based on the event. I'll give you one example. Let's say you have a list of classes and each class has an expiration date. Well, I want to tell the application that if that class expires, go ahead and remove that class from the listing. Let's go back to data pages. I'd like to show you how one of these data pages was created. I'm going to open up my admin folder and you're going to see a list of data pages. Let's go ahead and edit this contact form. Once you click new or edit a data page, this is going to launch Caspio's point and click data page wizard, where you see these elements on the left hand side. Caspio allows you to build input forms. You can build different reports. You have many layouts that you can choose from along with pivot table. Pivot tables are especially useful in applications because it allows you to see data in aggregate. You can do much more complex calculations to understand what your data means. Calendars, if you're building appointment tracking applications or event-based applications. Charts, which are my personal favorite. They allow you to visually represent the data so that you can track metrics, KPIs, and be able to see analytics and performance of your applications. And then HTML data pages, if you have a bit more technical acumen, if you're a bit more tech savvy, you can build much more sophisticated and robust applications using this data page type. The one that I'm editing is a submission form. I'm going to hit next and you'll see that Caspio uses a point and click framework. There's no coding involved. Once we go through each one of these steps, at the end you'll click finish to save your changes. So let's click next. The first thing it's going to ask me to do is to select my data source. This is how you're going to link your table to your data page. So if I click on this dropdown, you will see I have my contact table because when I submit this form via the web, I want that data to go into the contact table. Then you select your style for the aesthetics, your localization for your regional settings, and then we have access and security. In Caspio, you can have multiple user roles. You can have admin level users, you can have managers, supervisors, employees, 
And each user group that logs in will have different access to different information based on their privileges. On the subsequent screen, you're going to select the fields that you wish to use in your web form. And then on the following screen, you're going to select each field on the left-hand side. And you're going to make modifications using this drop-down form element. And you're going to notice how we give you a slew of options on how you can modify each one of your fields. It can be a text field, it can be a text area, radio button, checkbox, drop down, etc. Once you're done making all of your changes, you will click finish to save. But I do want to point out one more tab up here, which is very powerful. It is a rules tab. Rules allow us to control elements based on the prior input. So you can show and hide fields, you can make fields required or you can disable fields. I'm going to give you a quick example from one of our applications. So if I log out as the admin, and we go back to the customer side, and we do a self-registration, notice we have a checkbox here. So if I check this box, I want to opt in, and we show a field directly underneath to input our cell phone number so that we can opt in and receive those text messages. So that's the idea behind using the rules. And again, it's all point and click. There is no coding with Caspio. So once you're done making all of your changes, you're going to click Finish. I'm going to go ahead and hit Cancel. And once you save your data page, the next step is to click on Deploy, Enable Deployment Access, and then Caspio gives you five different deployment methods. The embed model is the most popular method. All you have to do is copy this code, paste that code into your website, blog, or intranet, and that form will seamlessly embed into your website. So now imagine if you had multiple data pages and you embed each one of those data pages into a single web page. This is how you get those multiple charts, multiple forms, reports to be on a single web page, simply by copying and pasting the embed code. And it's exactly like YouTube. If you copy the embed code for a YouTube video and you want to paste that YouTube video into your website, it's the same concept. If you don't have a website, you can use a direct URL link. All you need to do is copy this link email this link to your employees or end users or customers and notify them and let them know just bookmark the link so that you can access the form in the future. We also have frame.net for SharePoint and we also have WordPress. Because we have a lot of customers who use Caspio in conjunction with WordPress, we thought that it would be a good idea to create a WordPress-like code that's more relatable and all they need to do is copy this code, paste it into the WordPress CMS, publish their website, and again, they're going to be able to see that form seamlessly embed. Once you're done embedding, you can close this screen, continue building the rest of your data pages until you, all of your functionality is completed, and once you deploy each one of these data pages to your website, you're going to have the application reside on your site, and your end users are going to be able to consume the application and interact with each one of these data pages directly from your website. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please use the comment section below. For additional videos and articles, visit our knowledge base at howto.caspio.com.